Hey all, it's Angel over at Ainge Noble Exchange, owner, founder, sole proprietor of Nobleman's Apothecary, leather belts, leather hat bands, wallet ropes, and much more soon to come. Today I wanted to share an unboxing of something very special, very special to me, very special to many people in the Western uh, cowboy boot community uh, although there are some folks who don't even know or are even aware that this boot even exists okay you guys can read Chizos this is a Chizos boot unboxing this is my second pair of Chizos and uh, let's see how we're gonna do this I have the Chizos number two and I was quite skeptical at first on uh, after learning about the, the difference of construction compared to a traditional cowboy boot. Um, it's not a very different way to build a boot. It's more so traditionally built. However, there is one dynamic that has been added to this build construction, to this boot's construction and uh, operation, if you will, um, which adds to the comfort and uh, right out of the box wearability for a long day. So, um, I, you know, there was there were YouTube videos. I did my research. Uh, Will did a great job of uh, in, uh, introducing his lineup, and he actually has a video. Will Roman, the owner founder of Chizos Boots, actually did a <laughs> he did a very very enlightening uh, educational video for us all on YouTube, where he literally cut down with the sawzall, cut down through the center. Of his boot and two other very well-known boot companies and he basically just compared and really shed light on the fact that there are a lot of uh, well-respected well-known boot companies that are for lack of a better term starting to or have been uh, cheapening on their materials I think the name of that video is called Thou shall not cut corners. It's a great, great title for the video. And he does a great job of basically introducing you to what he, his, what his idea of um, when he wanted to create a boot, the reason for it and all that. Um, and it really got my attention. I am a boot enthusiast. So I, I'm very well, uh, I have a very good understanding for how a quality boot is constructed, how it's built, how it can be rebuilt, how it can be resold, and what parts are what parts are very, you know, the most important. And those most important parts, parts like the heel counter, the materials that go into that are very they're imperative. They're they're key to the longevity, longevity, the 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 long term, you know, your ability to use it and resole it for years and years and years, is because of the materials that are used in in, in parts like the heel counter, um, and the footbed, and you know, the midsole and, and the outsole and stuff like that. So he added a few dynamics to his construction, and I gotta say, I'm very pleased with these. I have had these for. I don't know over a week now, and I've been I've been beating them up pretty good. Um, yesterday I probably gave him the hardest um, day out in the dirt, uh, just pulling weeds, kicking shovels, kicking like literally kicking a wheelbarrow. Um, as you know, a regular size wheelbarrow. I'm six foot three. I was you know I'm kicking the little stand the feet on the thing as I'm hauling.
to to dump the pile of weeds and dirt um, and there were some scuffs but one you know I, I wiped them down I didn't brush down which I should have but I wiped them down and I'll tell you what this uh, this color that they use it's uh, retired dairy cow leather and this this patina finish that comes on it um, does a great job of literally just concealing just the lightened scuffs and it really just makes it it blends right in um, I'm, I'm really happy with these the the main dynamic difference between the Chizos, um, all boots in their lineup, and other, uh, just the majority of boot companies, Western Cowboy Boot Companies, is their, the interior of their boots. So they have this incredible calfskin lining. Uh, um, well, let me see. It might be deerskin. Look, don't hold me to that. Uh, but it's extremely soft, extremely soft, and it doesn't have that plasticky, uh, painted-on leather feel that you get from um, some other boots that kind of feel like just a cheap pair of Nike leather. And then the other part is, I mean, and this is this is this is the big Kahuna right here is the insole that they use. Um, so that's the same leather they use as the, the interior leather lining. Um, so that's one leather, that's one leather layer. Then they have two different, uh, densities of what seems to be a foam. It looks like that blue might be a, a pour on foam. Uh, and then this one might be just a little more dense. And this one here is probably more of a urethane. Um, I'm no chemist, so I don't, I don't know exactly what these, uh, materials are. Um, and you know, we've seen these a lot in the work boots. Uh, line of most boot companies uh, however eh, eh, where I come from uh, I wear Knicks I wear Red Wings I wear West Coast uh, I wear a lot of those traditional heritage style boots I also have a pair two pairs of Tacovas, and I also have a pair of real of Mercedes uh, these here with the interior leather midsole, uh, insole midsole, they're basically the same as a pair of Westcos, a pair of Knicks, a pair of Real Sub Mercedes. Okay, now with this insole, it does require you to size down if you do plan on using you know not using this insole and just using that leather interior but it really you're gonna dis discredit yourself you're going to uh you know you're you're, you're gonna be giving yourself a you're gonna be disturbing yourself basically i'm trying to find the right word for it but you're really gonna just uh it, it's it, the the boot was built to be meant it was meant to be worn with this insole i am six foot three i am 195 pounds on average I have high arches and I've never put on a Western boot that has the amount of arch support that this one does here. Um, so take it for what you will. But I'm very pleased with these. The other thing is, this is a new company and right off the bat, they're doing a great job of giving people great first impressions. Uh, from these handwritten notes. I have one on my wall from these that came with these number twos. And attention to detail, attention to feedback. That is that is paramount, that is key, especially with a new company. Um, it's a direct to consumer brand and uh, Will and Kate are doing a great job of listening to the people. So I did, I did mention um, so full disclosure, I did, you might have seen it even, I, I uploaded a, a YouTube video of the unboxing of these uh, and an on feet, and I noticed that it came with plastic bags in the packaging. I didn't, you know, that was, that was, that didn't bother me at all. 
but I, re I actually received a message from Will at Chizos telling me that, hey, you must, it looks like you received the old packaging, you know, face palm emoji. And just so you know, all of our boots from now on are now coming with the cloth bags. I think because in the YouTube video, I mentioned that I saw another YouTuber doing an unboxing of these here, which we'll get to in a minute. And they, the packaging included a cloth bag. So I just mentioned it, didn't, didn't bother me at all, but um, it, was, it was nice to see. So, um, very pleased with these. These are about a week and a half old, I think. Maybe two weeks by now. I, I, I'm terrible at that, but I should know. <laughs> Um, the soles are wearing through as you would with any other average leather um, outsole. You have to scuff to start really getting just an average kind of grip. Um, otherwise, if you know anything about leather, if you don't know about leather outsoles, they're extremely slippery. So you just got to be careful. Um, I live in a dry climate area, Arizona, so I one. One stroll around the house in the gravel, in the backyard, front yard, concrete, and I'm good to go. Otherwise, uh, some people will go like take a take a 220 or 120 grit, and just uh, just sand down the the front part of the sole because the rubber heel does a great job of of, of providing uh, grip. So uh, they're wearing through the Chizos uh, stamp is almost worn away, but. These soles are actually a little bit thicker than many, including my, my pairs of Tecovas. Uh, more comparable to the Riosa Mercedes pair that I have. Um, very pleased with these boots, though. Retired Dairy Cow leather. Very different from a calfskin leather. Retired Dairy Cow is a full-grown cow, meaning their hide is thicker, more durable, and also already have a lot a ton of character in the hide itself so um, that also adds just a just a really a beautiful natural look to um, and I'm sure there's some other stuff they did to to add this this finish to it um, but I uh, there 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 are some scars here and there some stretch marks stuff like that wrinkles it really just it really sets it apart from a regular calfskin leather uh, boot. Um, there really is not much to dislike f about these boots. They're a single stitch welt. Uh, I think this is basically uh, like a 50 or 60 percent welt. Uh, you know, it doesn't go all the way around. It's not a 360 welt. But uh, there's also a second in that that red layer right there. That it seems to be. If I dig my nail in there, it seems to be like a urethane. Not quite as soft as the black. <clears throat> but also just another layer of impact absorption. Uh, Will from Chizos uh, explains in his videos, quite a few of his videos, that he's he's uh, experienced some injuries in his early in his twenties, earlier in his life, <clears throat> and uh, impact absorption. You know, as as much as you love your Western, your heritage, traditional style boots. Um, once you start adding sep uh, in, in insoles and stuff from another brand or just from from a store, from a department store, and add them into your really nice quality boot, you really just start diminishing its build quality and it, the the way it was built, you know, to form your foot and all that. Uh, Will does a great job of in, of explaining that. With the urethane in there, the, the triple density or double density sole, I think it's triple density, uh, it, still, it still is able to form to your foot through that, through that uh, the, the, the triple density insole. So all the high points, all the pressure points are still pushing, putting pressure on the leather inside, on that footbed, on that leather interior, that leather insole in there. So you're still getting a formation to your foot over time, which is something you don't really think about. But again, these were designed to, and you can tell because with those insoles, if you throw an insole like that inside of a regular size boot that is true to size, you're going to lose about a whole size. You're, it's going to be a full, so you're going to have to size up a whole size. And Will, Will also explains that. He says if you really want to, you can remove them, 
but you're going to lose a whole, you're going to be, your, your boot's going to be large now. So, uh, that, that's just something to be, keep in mind. If you do plan on taking those out, your boot's probably not going to fit you. However, if you do have a foot injury and, you know, we all love to wear our boots, even if we have a, a stub toe or something, hey, you can, you can actually swap that out. Take that, take that insole out and still rock your cheese off, which, I mean, I'm a glass half full guy. That's how I see it. So, uh, call it what you will, but so, okay. Chizo's number two. Very good. Here's, these are the stitching on the shaft, reminiscent of the petroglyphs out of Trilingua. I am not familiar with the geography in Texas. I'm an Arizona boy, Pennsylvania boy, but I believe that's been Big Bend National Forest in Texas. Uh, so this is, I mean, it's a beautiful pattern. You don't have to be from Texas to appreciate that beautiful, uh, just that beautiful design. So I, pre I for one appreciate it. I also, I also did measure the heel counter height on that, that stitching here. I compared it to another pair of boots and they are about a quarter of an inch higher which tells me that they did take that into consideration when building a boot with an interior with a, a removable insole that is going to increase the height of the ride height of your foot so that heel counter is not below the the that you know that that round part of your heel it's still going to sink in and and form a nice cup around the ball of your heel i took that into consideration and i did measure it comparing it to another pair of my boots so it, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems to me like they took that into consideration. Great job, guys. Okay, love these boots. Time for another pair of Cheezos. And I gotta keep my voice down. My wife doesn't even know that this is my second pair of Cheezos. <laughs> Let's just hope she doesn't come in while I'm recording. Okay, Cheezos. 110, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's the order number. Um, 11 and a half. Packaging's really nice on the Chizos boots. Okay. Let's see here. Howdy, Angel. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you for your continued support and enthusiasm. I threw in another set of boot bags. For your other pair of Cheezos. Cheers. That's how cool is that? Okay. So he gave me uh, he gave me a second pair of of these cloth bags, these boot bags, to go with my number twos that came with plastic bags. Will is paying attention to you guys. He's listening, and that's the kind of company that we need to support and keep alive in these communities that's incredible love that boots on a soft surface we suggest test fitting the fit the fit of your boots on a soft surface to protect the leather probably going to cut that part out <laughs> Next, I have a feeling my, uh, let's see, I have a feeling my camera might stop at like 20 something minutes. So I'm just going to, forgive me if I pause just to look at the timing. Okay, I have not unboxed these yet. I have not unbagged these yet. All right, so. Here we are. This is the Chizos number five. And wow. This is my first pair of snip toe boots. So forgive my silence, but I'm honestly just taking it in and processing it. 
Check out that toe bug. Check out that toe bug. That is too cool. I like that. Same toe bug, just a different uh, stitch color. Very cool, very cool. Okay. Okay. Got the paper, got the shaft. Shaft support. Looks like the same type of red, uh, same red. <laughs> oh man, let's see here. Hmm. Okay. Just it looks like the the same red leather feels like the same red leather inter uh, interior lining, leather lining. It's beautiful, man. Check the insole here. Wow, this this is definitely gonna take some getting used to. I sure hope I got the right size. <laughs> I'll do an on foot with you guys, and I'll give you my impressions on it. Um, wow, I mean these boots are incredible looking. Got the leather interior, leather insole, just as any traditional style western western cowboy boot. Okay. This one back in, and then let's grab the other one. Close this box up. So the bag is very soft. It feels just like a. I don't want to say like a quilt, but it's uh, it feels like a wool, some kind of wool. Okay. So I noticed. You see that. Looks like some like a bit of red dye from the cardboard transferred onto the bag. That doesn't bother me. You know, but, I mean that's that's the reason why they put the boots in bags because eh, it's a leather product first of all. Um, whether it's a rough out or a just a finished side out, you want to protect the leather. You don't want to create any high shine spots. Um, unintendedly, unintentionally, but uh, oh, the bags are really nice. Okay, oh, take these out. Wow, those snip toes. Whew, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Cowboy boots are something that you really have to, unless you were wearing them from a child or a young age. Um, as an adult, making that transition from a lace-up style of boots, um, you know, or just, you know, regular footwear, sneakers, as, you know, most people make the transition. Um, you really just have to wear them and learn to wear them with confidence. And it really is a self-serving kind of thing. Once you, uh, once you figure out your your favorite boot style and learn how to style your boot up with a with an outfit um, the confidence just comes naturally so I'm gonna do a quick comparison between the two before we do like an on foot here uh, still recording let's grab a left to right so there's a left number two and it writes number five. So right off the bat, looks like the same exact outsole leather. Heel height looks the same. Heel height looks the same. One thing I noticed uh, with Chizos, and there's a few other companies, but Chizos, um, and that was the first time I actually talked to Will, was a comment on their Instagram asking them, uh, if the heel height on their square toe is the same as their round toe, what not not this round, not this toe, but their actual their number one, which is their round toe, I asked him. He responded immediately. It was within two minutes. He responded, "Yes, sir." I was like, "That right there, great first impression." So i'm just gonna keep saying you know will's doing a great job will and katie are doing a great job of introducing themselves introducing the brand 
uh, the company and the products to the public they are serving their their customers very well um, so these are this is basically just a it's a Texas Longhorn the stitching on the shaft Texas Longhorn I mean the horn goes underneath the pool loops on the side that's how long the horns are <laughs> uh, it's very cool it's it's a skull the skull of a longhorn um, looks like a diamond pattern here and then the sun here I really like the pattern of their number ones um, if they had that on here forget it I mean that's that's just my favorite uh, of their embroidery sh shaft embroidery pattern is the number one but this is very cool too uh, I appreciate that so there's the Sun just two more stars very cool very cool and it's it's simple it's a, it's still a very sleek design um, I really like the fact that their designs are traditionally for the most part but they're simple that's nice it looks to me like the shaft is even a little bit slimmer I was looking at that maybe not by much maybe not at all really but I feel like it is shaft height is about the same um, and heel cup heel cup height is about the same as well so it looks like you're gonna have that that again you're gonna have about a quarter of an inch higher than well the boots that I compared them to um, it has a higher heel cup this heel cup is the heel counter is constructed with leather so it's a stiff leather I want to say maybe an oak tanned leather just a very stiff uh, maybe even the same leather they use for this outsole or the same leather they use for the stacked heels but it, you feel the stiffness, and with leather, that is uh, like a stiff tanned oak, uh, oak tanned leather, if that is what it is. Uh, using it for construction on your heel. Um, so let me back up. These other companies that are, that are cheapening on materials, they make nice boots, very nice boots. But the fact is, they're using plastic on these heel counters. The problem is... Many people don't understand it. I mean, many people don't even, never even put their boot through it. I mean, these guys, a lot, lots of guys with, uh, in the cowboy boot community, um, in the most respectful way, I'm going to say this, but, you know, the two, $200 boots or $300 boots, they treat them or they talk about them as they are $700 boots or $800 boots doesn't matter you, you take care of your boots regardless but when you're talking about a $500 boot and it comes with and there are plenty out there with it and more expensive $700 maybe even a thousand dollar boots with plastic heel counters there's guys out here like myself included we work in our boots we look good in our boots we want to look good while we're working in our boots. When those materials are subpar and they're not built to our standards, you have a failing product and you have a disappointing product. Will understands this. He doesn't want to be one of those companies. And I'm also going to explain rough out leather is basically it's not suede so let's just get that out of the way it's not suede do not do not uh, mistake or confused rough out leather from suede suede is a split leather where it is basically sliced down thickness wise and that's where you get your mid grain Maybe maybe I'm wrong, maybe I stand corrected, but it is basically like a machined down, shaved down thickness of leather, and you get the fuzzy under the finish side, uh, which is the suede. And it's very it's basically similar to, to the to the rough out. However, rough out leather is the finish side flipped over. It's just the back side of a full thickness grain of leather.
rough out leather is very well respected very highly it's highly what's the word highly sought after in work boots in the north the pacific northwestern boot guys um hot shots use rough out on their boots many of these boot companies like nix westco whites uh, these boots you can basically con construct your boot online they build to your to your order um, and you can choose between a finish side and a rough side many hot shots choose the rough side reason being is because the rough side is more uh, more resistant to cuts more resistant to um, just gashing open and so scuffing down it's more scuff resistant as well so just like the hair on your head <clears throat> actually acts as a barrier against uh, you know sharp impacts um, rough out leather does the same thing so this honestly this boot as beautiful as it is is designed to hold up you can work in this boot as long as it's comfortable for you you know in other words you have the right sizing this boots gonna hold up it's recraftable resolable as it should be and this upper leather <clears throat> now rough out leather you do uh, you do a lot of uh, Maintaining and conditioning as you do the rough as you would with suede you have your erasers you have your rubber brushes your rubber rubber bristle brushes to clean them up um, and You would use the same type of water uh, proofing agents as you would so I probably won't be using any of those I do use the rubber uh, eraser on some of my rough out boots um, but that's that's only if uh, I get like a, you know some something nasty in there, and I don't really want to clean it out good. Um, but uh, that's enough of my rant. Let's go on to an on feet and jump. They are a lot more comfortable 
than I expected out of a snip toe group. Um, and that's because of um, and it all, you know, just my online research telling me that snip toes are, they, they have a little bit more slim of, a, of an interior and toe box. So, they're nice and snug around the instep, as they should be. Got a little bit of heel slip, as I should, with the new pair of uh, uh, pull-on boots. And the toe box, while not nearly as roomy as these guys here, still very comfortable. And this is something you have to get used to with. I think, in my opinion, you have to get used to with this style of, well, this brand, Chizos. It's a whole new feeling. It's it's a different breaking process. You're not breaking down um, the breaking process into you know one hour a day uh, on your first day, and the next day three hours, and then the next day another three hours. Um, I would say. I can I would say you can absolutely do a ten hour work day in your in your from day one in your Cheezos boots. And that's because I haven't tried their number one. I've tried their square toe and I've tried their snip toe. I'm guessing that the number one, which is their round toe, would just go right in the middle here. Um, and so that's that's my opinion. Um, very comfortable. Very comfortable. You can definitely feel that the toe box is more slim, um, a little bit more constrictive, but it's not uncomfortable by any means of, of that word, uncomfortable. Um, it's definitely not. It's, it, there's no pain, no discomfort at all. Where it is tight is where it should be. And that's right here on your instep. Your heel, the heel cup is going to form around your ball, the ball, that round part of your heel, and it's going to sink back in on, around the top. And that's from the weight, and where it does, where it gets the most strain is when you have all your weight on your heel. Um, so... I'm pleased. I am very pleased with it. The contrast stitching on these, I'm in love with. That contrast stitching, that bright white, looks incredible. So, I'm going to do just a couple of little, little catwalks. And honestly, I, I am going to keep them. So that being said, um, and, and for me, that's the final nail in the coffin. I, 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 I am not a fan. I'm a supporter. And I, the reason I say support is because Chizos is serving the customer with, by adding a new dynamic into the wear, into the on foot experience, changing what it means to break in a pair of boots. And from this point on, it's going to be just just the long term, my long term uh, of 
opinions on this this long term wear but when you look at the construction when you watch the youtube videos comparing materials between chizos and other brands uh, your confidence is uh, is healthy i mean i have a good confidence behind how i, I feel good about how my feet are going to feel um, anytime I'm wearing these. So, yeah. I mean, let's go for it, man. Get this cardboard out of the way. Get this chair out of the way first. have it guys there was an unboxing in on foot with the Chizos number five boot as well as a comparison between the number two and the number five boot from Chizos and so this is my second pair of Chizos uh, very satisfied they've exceeded my standards for for uh, for a boot from the uh, from the initial on foot out of the box comfort uh, looking at the build quality stitching the edging the finish the leather finish packaging personalized letters ease of communication and that that's a full package right there when you're asking for a brand new company that has i mean for most of us come out of the blue uh but they're doing great job they're doing a great job they're doing great work they're providing a great product um, at a very good price. I mean, we're not looking for, you're not looking for deals when you're looking for a, beat, a boot that's going to last you 10, 20 years. This fly needs to get out of my face. Anyhow, I'm in the backyard. I'm enjoying the number fives. They're kicking around dirt. They're right at home. They're staying. And uh, I'm Angel from Angel Noble Exchange on Instagram, sole proprietor of Nobleman's Apothecary leather belts, hat bands, wallet ropes. Check me out at www.noblemansapothecary.com. Hope to see you there. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'd be more than happy to uh, engage with you guys in the comments. Thanks for watching again. Take care.